The 70s Horror Review The Medusa Touch Just the Facts The Medusa Touch is the name of a British supernatural horror film released on 14 April 1978 in the United States. The film was directed by Jack Gold, a British director in film and television whose credits include the likes of The Chain and Aces High and the BBC productions of The Tenth Man, Macbeth and The Merchant of Venice. The screenplay was written by John Briley based on the book of the same name by author Peter Van Greenaway. Blot A police inspector investigates a brutal attempted murder that leaves a man in a coma, only to discover the victim has a history going back to childhood of people he dislikes dying in strange ways, and that he himself believed he had telekinetic powers. As the inspector starts to unravel the murder attempt, he realizes that the terrifying power that the man yields may not have finished its rampage of destruction. Cast The film stars Richard Burton as John Mauler, the man with the Medusa touch. Burton was a Welsh actor who became famous in the 50s as a Shakespearean actor who received many BAFTA, Tony and Golden Globe awards and, in addition to his famously tumultuous relationship with Elizabeth Taylor appeared in a string of Oscar nominations and appeared in numerous films including Where Eagles Dare with Clint Eastwood. The film also stars Lee Remick as Mauler's psychiatrist Dr. Zonfeld. Remick was nominated for an Oscar for the 1962 film Days of Wine and Roses and appeared in many films such as Anatomy of a Murder and Wild River, though perhaps is most well remembered today for her role as Gregory Peck's wife and unknowing adopted mother to the Antichrist in the original 70s version of the horror classic The Omen. Appearing as Inspector Brunel is Lino Ventura, an Italian actor who made a career primarily in French cinema but who also appeared in such films as Crime and Punishment and Law of the Streets. There are also smaller roles for a number of well-known British character actors including Michael Hordern, who appeared in numerous films such as Cleopatra and A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum, Derek Jacobi, a prolific stage actor and double winner of the Laurence Olivier Award who has appeared in numerous films and TV series including The Day of the Jackal, Gladiator and as the master in Doctor Who in 2007, Jeremy Brett, best known as the definitive Sherlock Holmes in the 80s and 90s Granada TV series, Gordon Jackson, most famous for period drama Upstairs Downstairs and as Cowley in the action thriller series The Professionals. John Normington, another well-known stage and screen actor with credits rollerball, the Michael Caine Jack the Ripper and a couple of memorable guest roles in Doctor Who, James Hazeldine, a British actor best known for his role as Mike Wilson in the drama series London's Burning but who genre fans will most remember for his roles in the 70s paranormal thriller series and The Omega Factor and the 80s science fiction children's series Chucky and its sequels and a literally blink and you'll miss it appearance by Ian Martyr, best known as companion Harry Sullivan alongside Tom Baker in Doctor Who. Trivia The 1998 Manic Street Preacher's song Ready for Drowning includes a line of dialogue from Burton's character in the film, specifically the line I will bring the whole edifice down on their unworthy heads. The 2005 song Leviathan from the same band includes the lyric Bader Mainhoff and the Medusa Touch. The Medusa Touch is the only film to have yet been made of any of author Peter Van Greenaway's books. The Medusa Touch was released on VHS in the 80s and on DVD in the 2000s before Blu-ray releases in 2013 and 2014. Reaction The Medusa Touch was not a big hit with critics with Roger Ebert calling it one of the worst films of the year. What I think. Far be it from me to say fuck Roger Ebert, but seriously, fuck Roger Ebert. I had never seen this film before up until a couple of months ago, and I had no idea what it was even about when I watched it, or where the hell it was going for the most part, but I really enjoyed it. It was fascinating, intriguing and spooky in that way that only 70s movies can really be and kept my attention all the way through to the end, which is absolutely jaw-droppingly insane. I liked the Medusa touch a great deal, and I give it a highly recommended, A-.